for joining me, everybody. You want to know how do I take my dental notes on my iPad? So this is a learning experience for me. I just started doing this. I've even been watching YouTube videos, how to take dental notes on your iPad. And I got some really good ideas on how to make things fun and just more enjoyable to study. So I'm a tutor and I make these study notes for my students, but I'm actually also a student myself again, where I'm taking a myofunctional therapy course. So this note taking on my iPad has been so much much more fun. So I personally use the app um, GoodNotes 5 on my iPad. A lot of people like the Notability app as well, but I find GoodNotes 5 is just better. It's It just seems to offer more for me, yet it's not too confusing. I think it's even a little bit cheaper too. I think you only pay once for GoodNotes, but with Notability, you have to pay more often, but I could be wrong on that. But anyways, you guys, so I use GoodNotes 5. That's what I'm going to show you with this. And this was actually created with the free one. I did upgrade to the Pro just so I could add more pages and notebooks. But what I like to do, if you guys notice, is I have a much larger title. So I created a text box. You can pick any text here. I use a couple different ones. I like these four for some reason. I, I just like to, uh, to rotate. You can change the size, of course, as well. But Dental Crown, as you guys can see here, is quite a lot larger. I had used Impact for the font and 72 size. If I wanted to change that, I just have to click Edit, and then I can kind of change that however I want. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm clicking too many things right now. Let me just undo a bunch of that. I must be doing a video because it's going crazy. And that's just how things work, right? Sorry, guys. Okay. Anyway, so if you guys notice, though, first is look at the paper that I had created my study note on. If you go up here, um, let's say you want to add another page so you can add this page. Oh, sorry, guys. Not that one. I wanted to click this one first. Sorry. I wanted to click this one first. Okay. So I like this current template here. It is called Cornell. I change it to the white paper because I just find it looks better than the yellow paper, but a lot of people do prefer the yellow paper. I guess it's easier on the eyes. You can change the paper this way. You can change it kind of any color you want within reason, like a dark, all white. Again, I prefer the white myself, but I like the Cornell um, template because what it does is it actually separates the paper into different lines. So as you see what I've done here, just move that for you. What I've done here is I've just added little notes into a square box. I don't write all of my notes down. So when I'm looking at a PowerPoint or when I'm teaching my students, I encourage them don't write every single word down because that's just writing the PowerPoints again. Who wants to do that? You want to write down the main points and it's more fun to kind of do it in circles, squares, whatever. But then I encourage them to add questions to the side. So when you're going back weeks from now to study dental crowns, you can first look at the questions and say, so why a crown and not a dental um, bridge? So if you're going back to study this, you might be thinking, oh, shoot, why would you pick a crown and not a bridge? I can't remember. Maybe I should go back to my notes and study again. Or you might be saying, that's easy. And then you know the answer. But then there's other questions here, too. On the bottom, I like it to... I write more about what a dental crown is all about. So in the middle kind of here is more of a summary on the key points that I want students to know more specifically for the um, board exam and then questions for them to ask themselves. And then what is a crown and what are the main things I want them to know? Up top here, just to make things look even more exciting, is I have added a couple different points that I might not have necessarily have mentioned here, but what they have to know for the board exam about a dental crown. These are little images that I have added. Let's say you want to add another image. You would click this up here. These are all the ones that I have saved recently. So let's just say I want to add another one. I can add that anywhere here. This isn't really a dental crown picture, but you get the idea. I like to add different highlights. As you guys can notice, you can make your own colors, which is a lot of fun. You can pick a custom color here, pick anything here. 
light, dark, even a custom code if you have that. Um, just kind of highlight it wherever you want. If you don't like it, click undo, but that's a lot of fun. And how I made the shapes was up here. Let's just say I want to do another square shape. I do a brief outline and it makes the square for me. Um, I teach my students how to do this inside the course if they want to write their own notes on their iPad. There's lots of different things you can do. This is just kind of touching the surface. So I hope this helped you guys. If you want to download this for your own use, this one's very messy. I'll admit this is one of the first ones I started doing, but I will leave the link for you down below. And in time, you will see more study sheets there too. So I do hope that helped. If you have any questions, let me know. And thank you so much for watching.